Let's begin. Welcome to Mindful Moments, brought to you by the Center for Trauma-Informed Innovation. I'm Roxanne Pendleton, and I will be leading our practice today. My colleague, Laura Ashbaugh, will be moderating our session. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them in the chat box, and please keep yourself muted to minimize distractions. Earlier today, I was reading an interview with Dr. Judd Brewer, who is a neuroscientist and psychiatrist, and he was talking about uh, the ways we can catch something that's more contagious even than a virus, which is uh, panic. We can catch panic, and that can spread through social contagion, um, which is simply the transmission of emotion from one person to another. And he said, uh, uh, and panic and fear can, can, can cause this part of our brain to shut down. So today's practice and all of these practices are geared to help us uh, stay engaged in our prefrontal cortex. Um, but he had a comment that really stuck with me. He said, you can catch a virus from somebody by being near them, uh, but someone can sneeze on your brain from anywhere in the world and we can catch that panic. Um, so his advice is, don't just do something, sit there, feel your feet, and breathe. So today's practice is alternate nostril breathing. And um, before we begin, as I'm describing it, if you do have uh, some kind of hand sanitizer near you, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and use that. Um, this is a way uh, to keep uh, ourselves safe because we're going to be touching our face. So go ahead and get some hand sanitizer and use it. Nowadays, our minds are often being pulled into directions of fear and uh, panic and, and leaving us out of sync. So this practice, alternate nostril breathing, is a way to help us come back to center. The benefits include relaxing the nervous system, reducing our stress and anxiety, enhancing our focus, uh, restoring balance in the left and right hemispheres of the brain, and it supports really good respiratory function. Alternate nostril breathing is safe for most people. But if you have um, any lung condition or concern, if you have a cold, uh, if you have asthma, if you have COPD, something like that, uh, you might want to just watch uh, this and then maybe check with your, your medical professional before you try it yourself. Also, as we're practicing today, if you feel any adverse effects, such as shortness of breath, um, dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, anything like that, it's rare, but if it happens, simply stop. Um, also, if this triggers any feelings of anxiety or agitation, go ahead and stop. Uh, but for most people, it's really calming. So first step, wash your hands, which hopefully you've already done with your hand sanitizer. Second step, find a Kleenex and blow your nose. You'll understand why in a moment. Third step, sit down. Find a comfortable chair uh, where you can sit. Um, with some support or sit on the floor, maybe cross-legged on a yoga mat or on a bolster to support your back, but sit nice and tall, lengthen the spine, have a sense of drawing upward through your spine. And then go ahead and rest your left hand, your left palm on your left leg. And um, uh, in a moment when we do the practice, you're gonna bend your right arm in and just kind of rest your right arm against your body because we're going to use our right hand for this. And once you get the hang of it, uh, we encourage people to practice it by closing their eyes. But I know right now you'll need to keep them open to learn. So we begin um, by taking one big inhale and exhale as we press our toes into the ground. Now continue breathing while I describe the next part. We're going to be using our ring finger and our thumb so you can hold your hand like this. Uh, or you can use these two fingers to press on the pressure points right between your eyebrows, which I really like to do because it feels so good and is very calming. So what we'll do is we'll either bend those two fingers under and hold our hand like this, or take those two fingers and place them on the ed inside edges of your brows. Begin as you uh, inhale one more time. Exhale completely, and then use your right thumb to close your right nostril. Inhale them through the left. 
Then use your ring finger to close your left nostril and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close right nostril, exhale through the left. That was one cycle. So I'm just going to coach us through it. We're going to do five cycles. A cycle is in through the left, out through the right, in through the right, out through the left. Press your toes into the ground, inhale. Exhale as you move your hands into position. Close right nostril, inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Three more cycles. Inhale left. Exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Good, now just place your right hand on your right thigh and breathe normally for a few moments. Bring your awareness to your breath. Notice how each side of your nose feels. Keeping your spine nice and long, continue taking a few deep inhales and exhales, noticing the quality of your breath. How does it make you feel? Do you feel any more balanced or centered than you did? Push your toes into the ground, feel your feet and breathe. When you are ready, you may open your eyes and release this practice. When we become panicked, oftentimes we feel the urge to just do something, just do something, just do something. And sometimes the something we do can make things worse. So my encouragement to each of us is to um, don't just do something, sit there, feel your feet and breathe. As you are learning and practicing alternate nostril breathing, I encourage you to try with five repetitions. Remember repetition is in through left, out through right, in through right, out through left. That's one repetition. Work up to 10 repetitions with that and notice how you feel. I tend to feel much more a uh, sense of lightness. That's probably the oxygen um, up here in my sinuses and greater focus. Now, after you finish, I encourage you to blow your nose again because Sometimes it loosens things up. And then you washed your hands first to protect yourself from others. Now I encourage you to wash your hands again to protect others uh, from yourself. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this practice will serve as a tool to support your well being during this time. These mindful moments are recorded and available to you in the virtual room of refuge, along with other resources. The link for the virtual room of refuge is in the chat box. Um, we encourage you to continue to take good care. Thank you.